So this is the next video for the IMA manual control. This is the uh, very very Heath Robinson prototype shoehorned in. You've seen most of this before but uh, now we have some extra parts in the um, IMA manual control box. We have a, a video output and we also have the joystick uh, connections. I mean this is a total mess this thing obviously once we get the printed circuit board made it should all be a lot better hopefully and uh, it's running at the moment. I've got it going in the car so I'll just go sit in the car. don't think we have any IMA errors. No we don't. That's good. So the state of charge is at 75% and the uh, car's just sitting happily uh, ticking over. So first thing I'll show you is this nice little gadget. So this is the magic joystick, um, X, Y axis, left and right, uh, up and down, Y. Um, so full, fully right is maximum assist, fully left is maximum regen. I haven't got proportions enabled yet, but I have enabled the maximum assist and the maximum regen modes. I haven't done any of the other uh, modes yet, but the joystick works, that's the main thing. So if I actually uh, press it now over to the right, the car should rev up. Yeah, I feel it did very aggressively and if I do it to the left it'll stall start it back up again uh, so yeah so you can hear it revving up right left and uh, it'll stall if I hold it to the left so that's the nice little neat little joystick I mean you could put this wherever you like uh, I'm sure we can find uh, some little uh, natty place for that to go or possibly even in the uh, top of the um, gear knob. Anyway that's uh, to be decided in due course. So it's a nice little neat 3D printed case that a friend of mine's done and I've got hundreds of these joysticks so they are uh, cheap as chips. Right so the other thing obviously I've got my laptop down there which I've just been programming the software with and the other thing is the screen. Now obviously this is just a shoehorned generic 12 volt RCA composite video screen but a lot of people will have the screen in here or wherever they are in these cars with um, an RCA uh, input and basically you just plug in the phono to the back and then you get uh, what you can see there so if I grab hold of the joystick again so if I just move the x-axis slightly you'll see the x-axis value changing and when it gets up to 255 the assist comes in if I move it the other way the x-axis goes down and if I go too far it'll engage maximum region and stall it now if I go up the y-axis and down so you can see I'm just moving this uh, up and down and it's controlling that if I press the button uh, the B one there will change and if I engage the wide open throttle mode which I haven't connected up yet then the WO would change and then we've just got a loop counter it's just counting how many times it's been around this uh, program loop very fast as you can see and then we've got the assist and regen flag so if I engage assist that will change to 1 as you can see if I engage regen it will change to uh, uh, the R will change to 1 so that's where we are at the minute we've got the proportional control joystick in we've got the video in and working um, the um, I've tweaked up the assist uh, value to uh, what I think is a very high value so I need to try that on the road to see then I now need to program in the proportional variable assist and regen from the two extremes and then I need to add in the stepped modes which I've discussed on the forum um, so that's where we are so yeah making good progress we've got a screen I need to extend the wires and put that on there somewhere uh, probably you can get little tiny ones of these as well this is quite a big one I mean you can get very small ones so I'll need to put something up there and uh, that's where we are at the minute it's in and chugging along and seems to be working at the moment still lots more to do